2019 Honda Pilot is usually a vehicle that epitomizes what's become referred to as mid-cycle refresh. An automaker launches a new generation model to great fanfare and builds it for roughly 36 months. Then it tarts it down some before selling it for one more three approximately. Hence, we've the new 2019 Pilot. It doesn't matter whether it needs to be changed, it should be changed, because without change, apparently, we wither and die. Or at the minimum a bunch of people will be out of work. Sure, a number of the updates to your refreshed Honda Pilot are welcome, such as upgraded stereo the amount knob returns, and improvements to its optional 9-speed transmission. And the addition of ordinary equipment such as the Honda Sensing Safety Suite is going to be applauded. But did Honda really shoot futz while using Pilot's front and rear end styling and some interior trim bits? Not a great deal. Really, these are typically all changes which could have easily been added in some places, but there wouldn't be new someone to market to customers, would there? As you'd be able to probably guess chances are, our drive from the 2019 Pilot wasn't a whole lot of revelation because it was a recitation of the items the Pilot Awachi does well. What is which you ask? For one thing, it seats 7 or 8 people in reasonable comfort. That's no minor feat, to fit a large number of adult humans into a vehicle without torturing them. You generally need a type of expedition-sized family trucksters. But the pilot is truly one of only a few crossovers that has a third row capable pulling them back. Bonus, there's still adequate cargo room together with the third row seat in position. The pilot also drives practically under the right conditions. It has a light in its feet feel that's turned into a Honda trademark. That's all the more impressive provided that we're speaking about a Teton crossover. Honda has done an admirable job dialing inside pilot's steering feel without over-boosting it or eliminating on-center feedback. Dive in the curves at speeds that will make the youngsters throw up, as well as the pilot's body simply won't lean. It's as when it built the damn thing using a cement foundation. For the record though. I think Honda cheated some a Toronto injury lawyer us pilot the pilot on several of Southern California's smoother roadways. The first time I drove a 2016 pilot, when this generation actually was on new, it was within the well-paved roads of Kentucky, and I was impressed. But the second time I drove it was for the choppy pavement of New York City suburbs, and in many cases the smallest potholes unsettled it. We had a thousand mile road trip within the frost thieved roads of upstate New York in front of us, and my partner was not thrilled, I thought you said this thing could be comfortable. I still shudder with the memory of her withering glare. Will the 2019 pilot exhibit exactly the same rough ride quality over bad roads that I encountered? The chief engineer told us that aside from improved brakes, there won't be serious changes towards the chassis, therefore we imagine it's going to. Still, we'd must dispatch anyone to Todd Lossa or Jamie Kitman, our men in Detroit and New York respectively, for certain. One thing that did form of impress me is the place well the 9-speed automatic performed. After taking some criticism for the operation, Honda says it made extensive hardware and software changes for the transmission to the 2019 Pilot, and routine driving is greatly improved. 9-speed Pilots now accelerate smoothly from the stop, and part throttle power demands are met that has a crisp downshift. Still, it isn't perfect. Stomping the throttle for the highway often resulted in lazy feeling, toss-step downshifts and we experienced some hesitation if we floored appropriate pedal coming from a dead stop especially when auto stop start was engaged. It is worth noting the ZF sourced 9-speed, 
that is only available for that top trim pilot elite other trims carry on and employ the Honda built 6-speed auto, may be the only transmission Honda has ever outsourced, usually it designs a unique. Lesson learned, maybe? The engine that both transmissions are strapped is really a carryover, Honda's well-worn 3.5-liter V6. Horsepower is 280, unchanged since 2016. It's adequate, to be certain, but that has a horsepower race occurring elsewhere inside the industry. It could have been an error for Honda to never rework it so that you can give it even more grunt. Besides the updated transmission, Honda was wanting to shine more light within the, the torque vectoring ability in the pilot's all-wheel drive system, therefore it set up an off-road course that involved a great deal of body bending, wheel lifting dips and ruts. It was an extraordinary display. The pilot was steady on its feet and did an excellent job distributing power where needed, in spite of one paw hanging within the air. Yes, we understand, few pilot owners will likely be doing any serious off-roading. But it's more than likely they'll be driving their pilots in snow and rain, which same capacity to find grip and steer clear of slip assists the pilot driver well when Mother Nature gets to be a bug up her caboose. In case you didn't tell what you know, the Honda pilot may also tow. 3,500 pounds out on the box and 5,000 pounds together with the addition of a transmission cooler, company, Honda wanted us to discover that, too. So it set up a Civic race car with an aluminum trailer for the pilot to tow, a mix it said weighed about 3,900 pounds I'm something of a trailering snob, critical of the slightest manifestation of instability. But I was truly impressed with how well the pilot handled the burden, power, stability, and braking were just like advertised. Inside, the inside has been revamped which has a new and slightly less sensible to us gauge cluster and, heaven be praised exclamation mark a new stereo which has a rely volume knob. Honda took some flack from customers and also the press gets hotter when without volume knobs on a number of its recent models, and has become rolling it out. Other than that, changes to your dash are minimal. The easy Taos climate controls, big cup holders, and center console storage could be adequate to hide the child all remain. More importantly, Honda makes its Honda Sensing Safety Suite. Collision warning with automatic braking, road and land departure assistance, adaptive cruise control, and automatic high beams, standard on all pilots. Hopefully other manufacturers will track Honda's lead and produce these important security features standard on lower priced models. All pilot trim levels get yourself a smattering of the latest equipment. Among the bits and bobs you'll discover in different models, cabin control, which lets backseaters use their smartphone being a remote to the rear seat entertainment system, cabin talk, a type of voice off god features that lets the people in front be heard from the back, a hands-free power tailgate, and also a wireless charging pad. Did the pilot need any major revamping? The only real issues we've experienced because the present generation's debut has become its rough road ride quality which Honda didn't address, and also the mixed bag that may be the 9-speed transmission. Other than that, it's been well equipped to take around the competition for countless years but that competitors are tough and receiving tougher on a regular basis, the good tow drive Volkswagen Atlas, Yuba Rumi Chevrolet Traverse, upscale Mazda CX-9, competent Ford Explorer and promising new Subaru Ascent are common impressive rivals for your pilot to handle down. So maybe a new pilot isn't this sort of bad thing, in the end. Ultimately, your decision may come into locale. If you live inside an area in which the roads are messy hello, Michigan the Honda may end up being too much of a rough rider. Still, its combination of the roomy interior, mostly usable third-row seat, 
and also a reputation for epic reliability help it become an appealing choice. Not very terribly exciting, but definitely appealing. 2019 Honda Pilot Elite AWD Specifications Price $49,015 BAS tested Engine 3.5 liters suck 24 valve V6280 HP at 6000 revolutions per minute, 262 lbft at 4700 revolutions per minute. Transmission 9 speed automatic. Layout 4 door, 78 passenger, front engine, AWD SUV. EPA mileage 1,926 miles per gallon city hui LXWXH 196.5 by 78.6 by 70.6 inches, wheelbase 111.0 inches, weight 4,319 pounds, 060 miles per hour 6.5 seconds estate. Top speed. 110 miles per hour estate.